Coming up next on Mornings, Club of the Week highlights the Musicians Club. North Penn High School needs your help getting one of their anti-tobacco commercials on MTV. And Mr. Brumball refuses to pose a question to the student body. Just kidding, we're back with the Brumball Challenge. All this and more coming up next on Mornings. Now please rise, and if you're in the hallways, please stop, and join me as we recite the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello and welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Katie Moyer. And I'm Christine Felty. Just a reminder that if you're in a sophomore homeroom, your sophomore mentors will be visiting you this morning to talk about course selection. So the homeroom will go till about 8 o'clock this morning. That's right, Christine. So we're going to have a quick program for you this morning. And to start it off, get ready because here comes the Brumball Challenge. Welcome to today's Brumball Challenge. This question deals with the topic of mineralogy. What is the only state in the United States with a working diamond mine? All right, good luck with the Brumball Challenge. We'll now go to Corey Pace and Sean Gardner for the Dude Report. Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Corey. And this is your Dude Report for today. We're live from the TV studio classroom, and uh, we're going to talk to you guys today about the Montgomery County uh, busted, which and is an... It's an anti-smoking video that uh, we and uh, a few other kids from the class made. The uh, Montgomery Community County Busted is a competition. There's a commercial that is against uh, tobacco smoking. And um, it's a competition that's going on right now at boncobusted.com. The three videos were created during class time. And uh, let's take a look at the three videos now. So guys, here's what you gotta do. Gotta go to Monco, MontcoBusted.com. It's MontcoBusted.com. There's gonna be the commercial competition. It's underway. The voting is between January 30th and February 13th. So if you guys can start voting now, that'd be awesome. Yes. And that blue screen, you're gonna click at the very bottom to vote. 
I'm going to bring you to the voting side. All right, at the bottom, there's your voting ballot. You're going to put your name in there. And then you're going to type in your age. Your, yep. Age. Put in your age, your town, where you're from. And then you're typing your email address. The voting goes by one email address per person. So if you have more than one email address, you can vote more than once. Then on the side, you're going to decide which uh, North Penn High School video you like number the best. North Penn High School number one, which is Mr. Butts the Bully. Number two, the inhalation. And number three, the interrogation. Make sure you vote for one because if you don't, the blank ballot will count for some reason. So make sure you put one down. So choose one of the three and then click vote and it'll go. And then you vote for one of us and you help us out. Because if you go back, there's a big tally right now. Go back to the front screen. There's a big tally about who's winning the voting competition. As you can see, Lower Marion and Norristown, Southerton, Gwen and Mercy are all beating us right now. So we need your votes, guys, to help us win. Because we don't want Southerton to win or anything. Nope. Not that there's anything bad with Southerton. But, um, so help us out. Go to moncobusted.com. Help us out by voting for one of our three videos. And uh, thanks a lot. Back to you in the studio. Okay, thank you, Corey and Sean. Our club highlight for this week will be the Musicians Club. Let's take a look. Uh, the main purpose of a club is to give people a place to play music. I mean, like, pretty much all in the name. To play music, hence Musicians Club. And just have fun, play music with your friends. I join for. We have a lot of guitar players and a fair number of bass players, a uh, few people play piano, um, and then we sometimes have some horn players, sometimes some string players. Um, some, we, we do have some percussionists, although it's not real, we don't have a drum kit, so we don't do a lot of percussion. Mm -hmm. But um, We'd like to maybe get some hand percussion happening or something like that. We have a lot of people who are, are pretty musical and, and do play multiple instruments. Uh, we also have some beginners, people who are, you know, just learning guitar or some other instrument and it's their first instrument, and that's fine too. Um, so, you know, some of everything, but yeah, we have a lot of people who play multiple instruments. Uh, actually, coming up on February 16th, we have what's called a coffee house where we have a certain number of acts right now. It's looking like between four and five. Um, they audition and they play after school on, at night. Uh, we set up, well last year we were set up in the senior cafeteria. There's auditions coming up, well we hold them at the meetings actually. And you come to the meetings with everyone except for a drummer and percussion and you just play for us and that's your audition and then we decide who's going to play. And you get about 15, 10, 15, 20 minutes to play. So it gives bands good exposure. Okay, well, North Penn High School has had a great week in sports as well, so let's take a look at the sports highlight from last week. Friday, the girls basketball team lost to CB South with a score of 59 to 54. Meg Levin sled scoring with 28 points, followed by Elise Kutzup with 15. Their next game is next Friday against Council Rock North. The girls swimming team had a 113-73 win over Souderton, making their record 11-0. Their next game will be on Monday at home. The boys basketball team lost to CB South with a score of 58-54. Their next game will be Friday at home. The boys swimming team defeated Souderton bringing their record up to 11 and 0. Alright, it's finally that time. We have a winning homeroom for the Brumball Challenge. But before we announce the winner, let's take a look at the answer. All right, the answer to today's Brumball Challenge. What is the state with the only working diamond mine? The correct answer is Arkansas. 
Thanks for playing today's Brumbaugh Challenge. Okay, the winning homeroom is Mrs. Sapolitis' homeroom in B117. Um, just to get, give you guys a quick rundown of how it's going, we have Haley, Slater, Plymette, McGargle, and Rook, and now Mrs. Sapolitis um, all winning. They're all kind of in first place because nobody's won twice yet, so keep on answering. Yes, and we encourage everyone to participate in the Brumball Challenge. But to all, the, all of you who do send in answers, just a reminder, please include your homeroom number and your homeroom teacher so we can keep track of you. Yeah, we had 55 responses this morning, so we're doing good. Okay, so we're going to go to Corey and Sean for the letter of the day. How you doing? I'm Sean. And I'm Corey. And today's letter of the day is C. C is for computer, which you should use to vote for one of our public service announcements. <laughs> please vote. That's all we ask. That was a lame. That was a corny pun, but please vote. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. And now remember, if you are in a sophomore homeroom, your sophomore mentors will be visiting you this morning talking about course selection. And again, a reminder, don't forget to cast your vote at moncobusted.com. So that's all for mornings. I'm Christine Felty. And I'm Katie Moyer. Have a great day.